Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the more browser functions. For example, refresh, reload, back and forward. Now refresh, reload, back and forward. Sometimes you will need uh, these capabilities in your automation framework in the script. So for example, you want to refresh the application page or reload the application page or move forward and backward. For example, here, say for example, I click somewhere else and then I move backward and then I want to move forward right so how you are going to achieve all of this using karate UI automation frameworks let's go and understand that okay so let me go here and go to the refresh section here so the function is refresh and it will do normal page reload and not clear cache now reload will hard reload page and it will clear cache right that's the difference and back and forward is pretty simple as i have shown you okay so let's quickly understand this so i'll simply copy this browser functions dot feature and we'll create browser functions feed two dot feature okay let's create it as a two and here instead of having everything else let me remove all of it and let's work with this page itself all right so i will simply go back and then just go to the karate core copy this url and well i'll be loading this url instead of the source demo website okay so given i am on this particular page now how can i basically move the page or let's locate some other locator or link say for example i want to click somewhere okay on this page all right so i will say simply get some of the locator so i will click on distributed testing so inspect it and just copy the xpath i'm just copying xpath at the moment there are better ways to get these locators but as of now i'm just and then here we have to click right so to click what was the function so to click the function was oh i modified it there that's fine so to click you know you have to click and then provide the locator right so here i'll simply say and click and provide the locator so we'll provide this locator here and as we have understood that we have to keep these inside quotes as single quotes and the outside ones will change to the double quotes all right so to avoid any of the confusion and that's it right so now what this will this script will do is it will open this particular page and then click on the link right so click on which link it this is the link distributed testing link all right so once it will click on this distributed testing then we can go back right and we'll go back and then we'll move forward and it, it should come to the distributed testing page again so we, we are trying to understand the back and forward functionality of the browser right so in order to move back and forward the function is back and to move forward the function is forward right so here you will see back and forward so how we can use it so after clicking on that particular uh, link when it moves to that link we will simply say in order to move back we will say driver dot back all right so driver dot simply use that function back okay and just use the star in front of it okay you don't need you can use and those gherkin syntax syntaxes as well but that's not required because we are just navigating through the browser similar to what we have done here right we are configuring something so here and then we'll say driver dot forward okay right so it will move back and then should move forward and should come to the same page all right so if i run this now it should open karate labs in the gecko driver which is basically the firefox and then navigate to that page click on the distributed testing link move back and then again forward so it is launching the page okay so it looked like it was pretty quick in that sense so let's let me try to put some weight there so you can easily see that okay so but before that let me go through the reports and see that everything has run successfully all right so if we go to karate summary report yes it has successfully executed and you will see the back and forward did actually work okay but then it was so quick that we couldn't see that happening okay so let's put some weight there and see that in action okay so that we can all also see that it's actually moving backward and forward okay so in order to put the delays right or a wait so what i'll do is i'll simply launch this and then put some delay there so this is not a good practice but then just to 
see that everything is working fine we are putting the delay all right or the weight the hard weight so basically delay is the method and then these are the milliseconds that you have to specify so this this will delay the execution of for two seconds and then put this delay after the click after the back and also after the forward okay so now i have put all the delays there let me run again and see the execution launching the browser open the page it will delay for two seconds click on distributed testing move back and again move forward right now you can see it clearly that it actually did all those actions the back and forward that we had put there okay so if you want to actually see just put a delay and see your script in action before you can finalize the script right so there, there is no failure as such because if there is a failure it will be visible in your summary report karate summary report but uh, just to see we need to put that okay the delay now what what else we want to uh, check here is basically we want to also look into the reload and refresh okay so let's try reloading the page as well okay so i can simply say driver dot reload okay so i can say driver dot reload and then driver dot refresh okay so here what we have uh, done we have moved back forward reload and then the next one we'll do is refresh all right so after the delay we'll put the refresh okay and then put a two seconds delay as well so we can basically see the page reloading and refreshing okay so let's run this script now and see the reload refresh back forward all of them together opening the browser opening the page should go to the distributed testing yes move back then forward again and should refresh the page yep and refresh right so refresh and reload so first it did reload and then the refresh all right so kind of similar functionality now if we go to the report again once it finishes right so if we simply click this karate summary report and maximize it you can see it clearly you will see all of these steps have been passed successfully right all of them are green now the difference between reload and refresh is as i have already explained normal page reload does not clear cache and reload uh, will clear the cache right so refresh will not clear the cache and reload will clear the cache so that's the difference in case somebody asked this question in the interview all right so as part of this tutorial what we have learned we have learned about the browser functions refresh reload back and forward that's all for this tutorial in the next one we'll understand about how to maximize and minimize the page how to do full screen and then quit the browser i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching